Many people confuse sake, an alcohol made from rice, with rice wine. Their brewing methods vary drastically. Sake starts with brown rice, polished brown rice, sometimes very polished brown rice. The grade of the polish will determine the grade of the sake. Sake comes in five grades. Standard, Hanjozo, Junmai, Ginjo, and Dai Ginjo. Polishing of the rice makes the rice about 50% of its normal size. Polishing removes the fat and protein shell from the grain, which tastes bitter. Polishing makes the rice dusty, so it is then washed with clean water. Then it is soaked, then steamed, then cooled. Koji mold spores are spread over the cool steamed rice. Steaming the rice breaks down the starch to make it easy for the koji mold to convert it into glucose. Koja are pretty bad at sticking to rice, so the spores and the rice are mixed to help them along. Koja also like to keep cool, so the rice is spread out flat. The koja rice is kept in a high humidity environment for 48 hours. After this, the mash needs to be made. Sake uses a unique brewing technique called multiple parallel fermentation, where starches are broken down into sugars while the sugars are converted into alcohol. Yeast is used to convert the sugar into alcohol. To create the sake mash, water, yeast solution, and koji rice are added to a clean container. The koji mold have already broken down the starch in their rice, so an equal part of fresh steamed rice is added to the mash. This mash is then mixed gently. The mash is then left to ferment for 24 hours. Twice the amount of the previous additions of equal parts koji and steamed rice are again added to the mash, as well as more water. This mash is then mixed gently. The mash is left to ferment for 48 hours. Twice the amount of the previous additions, four times that of the first day, of equal parts koji and steam rice are again added to the mash, as well as some more water. This mash is then mixed very well. The mash is then left to ferment for 26 days. After this, the mash will have broken down completely into a dense liquid called moromi. Once the alcohol concentration of the sake has reached 18%, it can be passed through a fine mesh. Pressing the moromi separates the sake from its dense remains called lees. Bottles are heated to a high temperature to sterilize them. The bottles are filled with the sake. Bottles containing sake are placed into water heated to 7 degrees Celsius. 158 degrees Fahrenheit, to sterilize anything in the liquid, and to halt the fermentation process. The closed bottles are allowed to sit and age the sake to heighten flavor and to increase aromatic potency. If you like this video, you can go ahead and you know what to do. Um, I'm going to try to make some more educational content for you guys, and that will be pretty much it. Okay, thanks, bye.